We're back, baby. And we're back better than ever. Hey, babe. When'd you get in town? What? But what up, people? It's your favorite YouTube couple. Back in a car. Couple in a car. Podcast. Whatever. Usually these go live like Monday, right? But we're doing it today because we made a boo-boo. We kind of got lazy and we didn't have a video planned for today. So we had to bang this out. But don't let that affect us. Or, but we're not gonna let that affect us because this is gonna be the best episode ever because I'm going to tell you why I am doing some of the hardest things I've ever done in life. And I know in the past, like I tend to exaggerate some things, but this one is bad. Should I just start with it? Sure. Okay, Claire Bear. Do you want to say like roll the intro music or anything? Good idea. Roll the intro music, baby. Okay. No, 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 She found me a restaurant where I had to pull out a Um. And yeah, once again, we got our uh, pumpkin cream cold brew. One a week, baby. That's it. One a week. And for this podcast, it's, an, it's a business expense. Hmm. And I don't feel bad about drinking this thing. You know what I'm saying? But you okay. you drink it, you haven't even taken a sip. Good point. I've you been... need to mix it up, don't you? You are just full of harassment today, aren't you? Oh my god. I honestly might say, can I just get a cup full of the pumpkin cream? Ew, that's disgusting. <laughs> All right, so yeah, I might as well just tell you what is super hard. Yeah, so we, me and Claire have been doing this diet thing. Well, I, she's been doing it for a while. Uh, I've only been doing it for probably like a month or something now. And um, if you guys don't know, it's water is pretty healthy, right? Like you're supposed to drink a lot of water. I don't need and I, I drink a lot of water, no, you, but no, not no, enough water. No, you don't. You literally have never drank a lot of water. Ever. I drink like seven glasses a day. No, you don't. I like how she thinks she, so you document how much water I drink? No, but I'm with you all, well, I pay attention to that stuff, yeah. No, you don't. I mean, my, like when I play video games at night, I probably drink eight glasses of water. Of just water. Yes. I do, like I drink a lot of water. Not enough, if you would have let me finish. Mm. Now, if we can go fa flashback a little bit where I said, now I drink a lot of water, clearly not enough, and then she interrupted. So you do not drink enough water? What are you doing? You're looking real bad in this podcast so far. You are supposed to drink one ounce of water per half of your body weight. So if you weigh 500 pounds, you're supposed to drink 250 ounces of water. If you weigh 10 pounds, you're supposed to drink five ounces of water. You just said that in the most confusing way. You could have said you're supposed to drink half your body weight in ounces. You said you drink one ounce for half your body weight. I think that's fine. I think, I think what I said is fine, okay? But what I had to drink is this. Boom. That is not a small bottle of water. That This is a gallon. I mean, this is way more. Like, I think um, if I weighed, yeah, this is 128 ounces. So if I weighed, what is that, 163? No, 156 huh? ounces. No, I'm trying to think. If I weighed 256 pounds, that is how much water I should drink. But I don't weigh that. I weigh like 200 pounds. A little more than 200, I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm drinking that much water, and it sucks, bro. Like, I feel like all day I am drinking water and you'll drink like I'm like oh I'll chug some right now and I went from like here to like here in a chug and I'm like oh my god I'm dead I'm gonna drown by drinking too much water I don't know if that's possible but I feel like it is so yeah if you guys haven't tried it I know it might seem like a oh, you're a little baby dude oh she's water try it just try it I'm trying to drink a gallon of water a day I dare you all right, so babe, did you do anything cool this week or anything challenging or anything? So pretty much what happened was Andrew and I are starting this thing on October 1st where the last 90 days of the year, you just like have these five goals and whatever. It's, it's pretty much supposed to just be like, you know how people say like on New Year's, like, oh, I'm gonna have these goals. We're yeah. trying to end the year on a good note. So yeah, but in, in light of that, Andrew's giving <clears throat> up fast food and I'm giving up sweets. And so we were like, let's go get Olive Garden because even though neither of those are part of our goal. <laughs> But we were like, let's be unhealthy and have Olive Garden, right? I go, Andrew's streaming, and he's like, oh, we, we got to order it here. And I'm like, okay, whatever, I'll go get it. So I order it online, and Andrew, by the way, has literally... What are you looking at, babe? I'm trying to digest what you're saying. I'm trying to see how you're spinning this to make me seem like a bad person. Andrew literally orders the most complicated flipping order. Like, I have to customize his pasta order. I what? Because he needs fettuccine alfredo with angel hair pasta. And instead of chicken, which is like the most 
average, you know, like chicken, fettuccine alfredo, like that's like the staple dish. He needs sausage. So I'm like. What? How was that the most complicated order? Because it was just hard to order. I had to go in and I had to literally specialize your entire order. High maintenance. So what did you get? I got to build your own pasta. So you built your own pasta, but yeah, but I wasn't telling myself what I wanted. Okay, this is just exposing Claire 101. She said I had the most complex order where she had to go in and customize it with fettuccine, angel hair, whatever. And then she, I go, what did you get? She goes, build your own pasta. <laughs> so mine, you had to go in and customize it, but yours, you just built your own. <laughs> And then Andrew wanted dipping sauce for the breadsticks. Of but, course. So that was fine, whatever. I mean, not dipping sauce. Yeah, Alfredo. that's what it's called. It's called Alfredo, baby. Yeah, yeah he got yeah, Alfredo yeah, pasta yeah, in yeah, Alfredo yeah, dipping yeah. sauce. But like each meal comes with two breadsticks, okay? So that's already four breadsticks. And then I was like, well, we should order more breadsticks because like four breadsticks, like that's just not, not enough. Stick. So then I text Andrew, but he's midstream. And I'm like, hey, babe, do you want 12 breadsticks or do you want six? Because you can order half a dozen or a dozen. So he was like, let's Let's go with 12 but he didn't know that there was four already on top of that so I was like okay let's order the 12 so I ordered the 12 I'm just like YOLO you know we're being unhealthy till we have to be healthy on October 1st and then I was like okay I gotta order this dipping sauce and when I ordered the dipping sauce it said that it came with four more breadsticks but then when I ordered it it said order your breadsticks like separately so I was like mm. oh okay so that's fine whatever I get there <clears throat> And the girl's like, I'm like, hi, I have to go order for Claire. And she's like, okay, um, let me just like read you back your order, you know, to like make sure that, that we of have course. everything. Of course. She's like, all right, I have two salads, two, you know, pasta dishes. So she obviously knows this is for two people. And she's like, and then we have 20 breadsticks. And I was like, can you not chew on your eyes? <laughs> But I was like, in my mind, I'm like, there's two ways I could do this. I could be like, wow, I did not know that I ordered 20 breadsticks. Or I could just roll with it and just be like, yeah, what about it? So I went with the second one and I was like, yep, mm -hmm, 20 breadsticks. Literally, these bags of breadsticks are like the size of my face. And we only ate 10. Only ate 10? That's like Did a we lot really put down 10? I feel like I only had two. You had three, I had the rest. You had seven breadsticks, babe. Oh my God, that's impressive. I'm not even mad, I'm impressed. No, you had four, I had six. Like, I don't know what it is about me lately, but I just don't eat a lot in one sitting. Like I used to be able to put down like billions of calories, but now I eat about like a kid meal and then I'm full. <laughs> Bless you. Thanks. And then also this week, Andrew and I went on a date. We did. Andrew took me on a date. That was fun. There really was nothing. Oh, there was exciting things about it. We saw a stand-up comedian show. We did. I don't know about you guys, but I am not a big fan of stand-up comedy. Like, it will take someone to be, they, they gotta be real funny to make me laugh. Yeah, Andrew literally didn't laugh. I don't think he laughed one time. It's just like the people, I mean, he's like and the this devil. is like. He's like the Grin Reaper of like stand up comedians. I'm like, Andrew, that was like pretty funny. He was like, mm. I'm like, oh, ew, okay. But Good the thing, thing we're is, in the back. The thing is, like, we're also not at like a Comedy Central event, so these guys aren't the top tier comedians out there. I know, but you have to start somewhere. I guess, but they need to start making up better jokes. I could be a stand up comedian. Okay, give us a little. Okay. Hey everyone, how's everyone doing? I'm not doing good because I have to try to make up jokes to make you guys laugh. Funny, everyone's laughing. <laughs> uh, but really though, like, I don't want to be here. My girlfriend's making me. <laughs> and I run off the stage. Everyone dies laughing. That's the best you got. Like you want me to, like give me, like what, like I don't like what does the crowd look like? What is the demographics? Boys, girls, like 50 50 girls, 50 50 guys. Yeah, 50 50. How many? What is the age? Average age, medium Average age. Average age is 26. 26? Jesus Christ. Okay. If you get me to laugh, then you win. Hey, man. How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. You look like my girlfriend. Oh. Just a little less mean. Babe, I haven't studied. If you want me to do a stand-up thing, let me go steal other people's jokes, and I'll come in here and make you, you laugh. You can't make me laugh. Like, I, babe, I don't know. I can't think of a joke. 
Like, the thing is, this isn't me saying, I never said I could be a better stand-up comedian than these guys. I could be a stand-up comedian. You just put this on me. Well, I'm just saying, if you're gonna bash them, you might as well be, you don't no, know how hard, ba no. you don't know how hard it is to be a stand-up comedian. Well, I've laughed at my jokes just as many times as I last laughed at them, so it looks like we're the same. You so laugh I'm stand at your jokes all the time. Yeah, but I can't think of any jokes on the spot. If I, oh. had, if I had time to think, I would write down some funny stuff and make everyone laugh. But I'm just saying, stand-up comedian for me are not that funny. I don't I, I like a funny movie way more than a fun like there's people that like die, like there were people like literally oh. Screaming laughter at some of these jokes. I'm seeing I'm like that wasn't even funny. It's funny It's like you are just cri critical and mean. No the people I think the people that laugh at some of the these jokes are um, Like just they just feel like they force themselves to laugh like I've seen it firsthand I've seen people watch stand-up comedians on Netflix oh, so Like you think you're like some kind of like truthful person because you don't laugh when a group yes. laughs oh, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Like there's some stuff people say and the person will be like, ah, oh my god! I'm like, maybe it relates to them, and they think it's funny. No, the thing is, I've seen people that I know laugh at jokes that I know are not funny, and it does not relate to them in any way. I'm like, how do you think it's not funny? It makes it's not even funny at all. She's uncomfortable, so she's trying to do that. Like, I don't like forced comedy because they are trying to make you laugh. I like movies like uh, Hot Rod, like Danny McBride. See, okay, listen, this is a perfect example. No, listen, Danny McBride is, in my opinion, the funniest actor out there, but he doesn't force it on you. But I'm sure someone can relate to me out there as what I'm saying. Like, forced comedy, in my opinion, is not that funny. I feel like But comedy, he... like, movies, or, like, I do like roasts. Like, celebrity roasts are hilarious. Like, Ew, are I hate roasts. See, that's what I'm saying. They make that, me so uncomfortable. That, that, maybe that's what it is, because Danny McBride's, I would say, on, like, the, the edgier spectrum. side of comedy. So that's probably what I like. I like the, the raunchy comedy. In case you guys didn't know, or if you guys didn't watch our last week's couple in a car episode, Andrew's birthday is literally in two days. Or one day when you're watching this. Yeah. But we are going to vlog it. I don't care if Andrew doesn't want to vlog it. And you know what? I don't care if we don't even really do anything all day. We're going to vlog it. I want to document the day that Andrew turns. Try to guess how old I am in the comment section below, okay? I'll give you a hint. It's between 18 and 50. There's your guess. And, a, and it's an even number. I was thinking if it was a prime number. It's, I don't think it's a prime number. No, it's not. But, yeah. I'm really excited for Andrew's birthday. I, yeah. To be honest, I don't really care about my birthday. Like, I'd rather not... Because Claire did not find me an elk steak. Yes, I did. Okay, no, 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 no,
Yeah. Not me. <laughs> but yeah, let me know. if Because if we go there, I think I'm going to get the tomahawk steak. Like, I can't get the elk steak for like 40 bucks. I'm going to get the tomahawk steak for almost $200. You have to try elk, though. I know, like, that but... was the whole thing. We can't talk about elk anymore. These people are probably so flipping tired of hearing about it. Well, you guys, that is going to be it for today's video. We hope that you enjoyed. Kind of chaotic. Kind it's of a chaotic, chaotic one. But once again, this is how me and Claire have such a great relationship. We come on camera and she harasses me for like 30 minutes and she like, she you know, she like brings out all the bad in us and she harasses me, makes me feel bad. But after this video, we hug each other and we say our love is great. So hug that me, is hug me. Is the video over? I said after the video, hug I do me not now. I do not hug I do not hug on camera. That was my number one rule. Do not hug on camera. But that is going to end it. Starbucks, once again, way to go. Way to go. You guys are still killing it with these pumpkin cream cold brews. But make sure before you leave to like and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. We sure will. Maybe it'll be in a car. Maybe it'll be the treble no, the next a one, truck. No, the I next one, I'm hoping, is going to be your birthday. Oh, I, I got a new uh, podcast idea. What? Tesla Talks. Okay. I need to buy a Tesla. Next video, I buy a Tesla. Let's go. You, she didn't say no because she bought me a Tesla for my birthday. You did? Okay, say bye. Oh, bye. Okay, this hurts. I can't breathe. I literally can't breathe. You're blocking my carotid artery. I'm gonna die.